And I, I think what some things we were trying to play with in the edit was, I'm not really the best uh, race studies teacher. I'm like, I, I have a hard time explaining what feminism or intersectionality is, especially to children. So, uh, so yeah, I guess I, I think about that and and and, and trying to uh, trying to trying to make something that just feels close to me and not that everybody will champion and get behind. Does that make sense? Oh, totally. When I think of both of you, I think of uh, artists who who are kind of bold, who make films. It's almost like they're. I, I see different pieces out there. Unapologetic is that the, I don't know if that's the right term, but you guys are making stuff that I feel like you really want to make, and I'm assuming you think about how people will perceive it. But I also think that you know, this doesn't stop you. Like I think you're wanting to tell the story, and you know. Um, so can you talk about that as far as you know? Maybe it's what you're talking about structures and how we're looking at media, but. Both of them, for various reasons, are refreshing. So maybe as artists talk about when you have a vision, an idea, you know, and you go for it. Can you just talk about your kind of artistry. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think that I think that uh, I always felt like I'm pretty outspoken <laughs> about my opinions, and so I just that aesthetic comes through. I think. Um, I think that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a shy person. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you a shy person? I'm very shy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I pushed through my shyness to come out today. Um, I think two words that come over me are like cute and co cute confrontational, right? And so, a lot of my uh, me being drawn to performance art and the work I make was, was uh, my, my first exposure to activism and thinking that I was an activist was really in college when I went to CLA and there was like people getting arrested on campus and marching every day and constantly, you have to hold a lot of anger I think as an activist um, and, 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 and when I did, it, it hurt and so I was always trying to think, well, I think what, what, what sort of shifted me to the other direction as an artist is like, well, I just want to make culture and that takes up the space instead of screaming, give me space. And uh, and and I, I love the idea of like every I mean I've been trolled for the last 20 years since bigbadchinesemama.com, very still in the web, think no more by website. Uh, but like just finding these ways of tricking, how do I trick the people uh, that I want to confront to watch this? As opposed to just to perform just for, for a bubble. And so so those are things that I've always thinking about in my work is like how how can I enjoy this process of driving them crazy? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. So you're trying to trick people into watching your stuff and not, like Alex Jones? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we thought that might happen, but it didn't. And then and then just like one day they stumbled upon it, like three months later. And like I, it was I described it like cockroaches, and I was like, oh, I'm getting a lot of hate. Messages. And I was getting emails from places I didn't even know I could get emails, and my agents were getting phone calls, and, and it was just like I, I would try to, uh, you know, stop this this leak, and then another leak was coming, and um, yeah, they they like they they just seized upon these key moments of the video where Liberty says something about white people, and we went, oh, oh no, they're after us. So. Um, so we didn't think about that in marketing, but we thought because they're children, we didn't want to throw us directly in the line of fire, but we found this anyway. Um, but was, I'm thinking more of these other projects, like the How Not to Pick Up Asian Chicks. Like, we thought with the Masa Akira, the, the porn star in the video, because she's fans. You know, she's fans. Yeah. People look in Google for her. And like, like, how can we just sort of like, trick, trick people into watching these videos? Yeah, I think that's really true. Nowadays, you can have like search engines, you know, or whatever people can just enter a term, and then all this like someone might enter like Asian women, and you know, usually get like porn stars. But then somewhere down the Google search, like, our yeah, right? It's like, 